Hey, this is Dave Sharman, and somewhere in here is a Voodoo Lab pedal power Mondo that we're looking to unbox. Uh, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more. All right, so this is the um, actual UPS delivery box. So just gotta get this open first, and let's just quickly uh, flip this over. Okay, so let's uh, move in a little bit closer. Um, now, there's some useful information uh, on the front of this box, which uh, we'll get into a little bit later. Let's just open up the box for now and see what we have on the inside. And there we go. So, as you can see, that's the unit and some various uh, odds and ends. Um, so these would be the uh, the connector cables for the um, outputs and you've got some various um, configurations which are no doubt uh, for different size pedals and different voltages etc. Um, you can even, even see there's like a little battery connector there on this one. Um, that's for pedals which don't use an electrical power source and just run off the battery so that's, that's a nice touch. Um, over here uh, this is the, the kettle lead for the power supply. And the power supply itself. So now I do know that this is the largest power supply that Voodoo Lab make. Uh, it's their flagship model, if you will. Um, it's a nice design. It feels pretty weighty. I'd say that's probably about half a kg, maybe, uh, maybe slightly less. But it feels pretty solid, and you can tell there's a lot going on on the inside. Um, I think it's a good-looking um, piece of gear. Um, I mean, power supplies aren't really the kind of thing you get too excited about, but if you're going to have one, you might as well have something that looks the part, and I think that does. Um, now, let's just see what uh, is to be found on the front of the box. Now, so we've got 12 um, isolated output uh, sections, which eliminate ground loops and hum. Um, so that would relate to these outputs here. Now, as you can see, there's actually more than 12, there's actually 14. We've got eight there, two, and another four. So for you mathematical geniuses, that would come to 14. Um, so even though it says 12, how can we have 14? Now, the reason being, uh, the four over here actually operate as two power sources. They come as two pairs. Um, so the two power sources um, will each have a nine volt and a 12 volt uh, capability together. So you can actually, You've probably got the various um, connector cables in there that you can run off each pair to power a, a higher voltage um, pedal. Uh, you can still break it up in terms of using the 9 volt or the 9 volt on that side or the 12 or the 12 volt on that side. Um, but each actual pair, even though there's, there's four in total, um, but each pair is actually running off of one power source. Um, so hence, that actually is really just two. So that's, that's why we have 12. Uh, now, in the two in the middle, that's uh, two standard nine volt. And over here, you've got another eight, and they're all capable of running nine volt isolated um, outputs. Um, all outputs compatible with nine volt battery operated pedals, so we've just been through that. Six output high current capable for modern digital effects, and that will be uh, the six over here. Um, and the way you vary the actual output is if you flip it over, You've got these uh, dip switches, which you can see. If you flip them up, they're all 9 volt. If you flip them down, then they relate to the configuration on this little diagram over here. And this little diagram over here, if you look, is actually this one over here. 
So there we go. Um, uh, powers uh, Strymon, Eventide, Line 6 and Boss Twin pedals. Um, two outputs with SAG Simulate Low Battery, and that will relate to uh, 7 and 8. If you're not sure what SAG is, or if you've never heard the term, um, it's basically if you have uh, a battery operated pedal, uh, like a 9 volt battery operated pedal, where the battery is running out of juice. Um, it gives you kind of a variation on the sound, which, uh, you know, it's, a lot of people think is really cool. And you can use this to emulate that sound. Um, and each uh, output has a little knob, which you can use to then, I think, turn and vary the amount of output. So you can kind of play about with that. Or you can just leave it on the on the 9 volt sort of setting, just leave the dip switch all the way up. Um, Includes cables and detachable AC line cord, so there is your line cord there, and a courtesy AC outlet, which would be uh, it should be that one over there. So that would run uh, a pedal which has its own requirement in terms of you know it, it's got its own sort of plug that you can plug directly into there, and that's how that works. Um, so that's the actual uh, power supply. Um, I do know it also has an internal thermometer which uh, controls a silent fan for keeping the whole unit cool. Um, and you can tell, I mean, just by the by the size of it, you know that it's going to be able to handle a large pedal board. And I've I've actually got a board with about twelve pedals, thirteen old pedals on it. Um, and the reason I got this is because I want to run each pedal of its own power, power source. Um, I might have to daisy chain a couple of these if I'm saying going for fifteen pedals or something. But ultimately, if you if you have every pedal having its own individual and isolated power source, then it's, it's, a, it's truer to the sound of the pedal, it'll keep it quiet, and you know that you're going to be operating on, you know, optimum power. So it's, it's, it's the best for the pedal as well. Um, if you know any guys, or if you indeed have, have one of these, or maybe one of the other uh, units that the Voodoo Lab make, like the Pedal Power 2 Plus, or even, you know, something by MXR, for example, let me know your thoughts. Um, there aren't really too many... Uh, videos on the Mondo on YouTube, um, so I just thought I'd kind of get started with, with this one. Um, it's going to set you back about 230, 40 pounds in the UK, uh, which is about $300. Um, so it's not cheap by any means, but you know, I think you get what you pay for. Um, ultimately, if you don't, you know, set it on fire or spill your beer all over it, it, it should last you a lifetime. Um, there isn't really too many on the second-hand market um, just to say like a few dollars or a few pounds and get something which has been used by someone who may have mistreated uh, you know the, the equipment so I kind of believe if, it, if, it, if it's worth paying the extra a little bit extra to get something you know is brand new um, so let me know your thoughts uh, please do share this video if you know someone is looking to get one of these and uh, by all means, subscribe and like uh, if you want to see more. Uh, so that's the Voodoo Lab Pedal Power Mondo. And uh, no doubt, once I get this on the board, I'll try and get another video done and see how this actually works. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again later.